Demon basketball coach Mike McConathy, whose team plays at home twice this week after a thrilling come from behind last minute win on the road. Coach, uh, breath of fresh air for you and your team. Uh, no doubt about it. We've been really close, but not able to get over the hump. I was real proud of the guys. We got down by as much as 13 points in the game, 19 minutes and something to go in the second half. Continue to push back and finally took the lead with about, I think, th right around two minutes. And we took the lead and we're able to have the amazing thing about taking the lead and holding the lead is we finished the last 325 of the game, five for five from the floor and um, did a really good job, made them uh, do some, uh, create some turnovers. We only had two turnovers in the second half, forcing them into some turnovers that led into buckets. Devontae Hall had a couple great steals during that run in the, uh, early in the second half to allow us to cut it, and we just really did a nice job. Only nine turnovers a season low. Yeah, you know, if you don't give them the ball and you keep the ball, obviously you have a better chance of winning, and that was a really big, big plus for us to stay under, under 10 uh, turnovers. And actually two in the second half is all that we had and did a remarkable job there and got the ball in the, in the right place. I thought Ishmael Lane had a fabulous game with a, a double-double, uh, 13 rebounds, did a great job, and, and Trayvon Joseph had a career game uh, from as far as points go but a career, just a career game in the position to where he made the plays that we needed him to make during the course of the game. Really proud for him, a senior. Uh, he is our glue guy. When, when, when Trayvon is good, we're good. And uh, he only had five rebounds, but he had uh, 19 points and did a phenomenal job. Uh, five for five, I believe, from the free throw line early. And most of those came in the first half, I believe and uh, did a great, great job. I was really pleased with his effort and all the things that he did. And I'm just thankful that the team continually fights and puts themselves in a position. We had a disappointing week last week, to, but it came back and we finished strong by losing a home game to Southeastern. But going to Nichols and getting a win, a very difficult place to win, but we were able, they had just beaten UCA in a big game on Thursday night in a shootout where they were 60 plus three shot. And uh, they did a remarkable job. They had some great individual efforts out of their players. Uh, Coach Riley's done a tremendous job. Uh, they're a very, very difficult team to play and prepare for. 24 seconds left, tie game, you call timeout. What happened from that point forward? Was it as you guys wanted it to happen or did the guys have to improvise? Well, you know, you say 24 seconds on a timeout, that's really unusual for us to call a timeout. Uh, last time I called a timeout in that situation, we were tied up at Wichita State and we threw the ball away on inbounds place to lose Wichita State in 2005-2006 when we went to the NCAA tournament and we won against Iowa. But uh, we did call timeout and we called Trayvon Joseph his number and we called a play that would allow him to get him in a one-on-one -on -one situation and he shot the ball a little quicker than we would like, but we wanted to go in so whenever he shot it, it was okay. Uh, but he shot it a little bit early and they ended up with 4.9 and we had to get a defensive stop uh, up the floor to keep them from getting the shot off, which uh, Powell drove the ball up and took a long three and it was off to the left. But, uh, you know, they did what we executed, what we needed to. We did what we needed to. I thought that uh, Trayvon Joseph showed a great deal of poise in making that play and I was just really proud for him being a senior. And Trayvon is one of the, the finest young men I've ever coached and I've had a lot of good ones but he's got a great heart and he puts an immense amount of pressure on himself to be successful because he wants to. And he, with this pressure, this time, he adjusted to that and he took it and he was successful and, and brought a victory home to the Demons. Now you played home twice this week, Lamar Wednesday night at eight, UNO Saturday afternoon. Um, obviously, first and foremost from the big picture, two must win games for the team in terms of postseason hopes? Well, we got one game seasons from here on out. You know, when you get in the situation where we're at right now, it's just like the tournament's already started and we're trying to get a win to get to advance on. And so we've been talking about one game seasons. And um, Lamar's obviously a very, very talented team. Uh, they, they handed it to us pretty good down in Beaumont in a game in which we didn't take care of the ball at all. They had 30 points off of uh, turnovers. Um, on our records, it showed only 10 off of direct steals to lay it up, but just the general stat sheet showed there was 30 points that were scored when the ball changed hands. And they had 21 points in transition, 10 off of turnovers, that's 31. You know, a little bit different math than what was on the, on the uh, stat sheet. But uh, there, it's just, it's a big game for us. And they, they are very talented. They've had some really, really big wins and done some really, really good things. And Coach Price has done a nice job of getting them where they're at. 
All right, Wednesday is a big game for you in another way. The anticipated return of Zeke Woodley after 15 games on the sideline. Oh, excited about having Zeke back. I think everybody's excited about having Zeke back. Uh, you know, playing without Zeke um, is like playing without Jalen. So you're playing without Zeke. Well, now you're playing out with, without Jalen and Zeke. And so we were able to really show a great deal of tenacity during this first game, 15 game absence to where our kids really fought and they competed and they competed. You know, the question could be asked, okay, what do you expect Zeke to do? I just expect Zeke to come play basketball. And we take whatever Zeke gives us and I know it'll be good, whatever he gives us. He gives you a different dimension, somebody else to look for. Question in the, in the fans would be, well, will he be ready to play? I think he'll be ready to play. I don't know what degree, it could be off the charts. It could be that, you know, he, he, he misses one more shot than he missed before he played in his last game. I don't think you can get into that part of it. I think there's so many intangibles of Zeke returning that, that can lift this team up to another level where we need to be in this stretch run of one game seasons where we play Lamar. It's our, it's our first game, it's our next game, it's our last game. And we just need to look at that and we're glad to have Zeke back for this game. For Saturday's game against UNO, uh, the league leading privateers, a senior dominated team coached by a guy who was your assistant for 11 years, um, challenges, opportunities, but it's at home. Yeah, thankful to be able to be at home. And uh, Coach Lessinger's done an excellent job, really, you know, excited for him and his program, what he's done. That's fantastic. And, uh, you know, he's really, really done a fabulous job. And, um, you know, it, it is, a, is a game that, you know, we need to come take care of our business and do the little things, be competitive. He has them playing extremely physical. There's three teams in this league, uh, Sam Houston, Stephen F. Austin, and New Orleans, and Lamar would be another one, four, that just really play physical, physical basketball. And they're a team that plays really physical basketball. We have to be able to adjust to the physicality of the game. That's something that at times we've really been good at. I thought we really did a great job against FS SFA here and Coach Keller of adjusting to the physicalness of the game. We've got to continue to do that. When we play Lamar, we've got to adjust to their physical play. When we play UNO, we've got to adjust their physical play. So it, they've done a great job with that. All right, for your team this week, not only do you have two home games, but you've got Mardi Gras break for the campus approaching next week. Is there any negative to that kind of break coming at this point of the season? You know, I mean, when you've been here for 18 years, you just kind of take it in stride. The only thing I would say is, and maybe it gives you a little bit of time, we won't play till Thursday of the next week to where maybe you'll have a, a good day and a half off. Because what happens when you come back in from Nichols and you get home at two, and you take uh, off the next day, you get up and you go to church, and then you know you don't do anything the next day, and then you're back in here at seven o'clock on Monday morning practicing. Maybe you have the opportunity a little bit to give them a little bit more of a window to recovery, but is that a good or bad thing? I don't know. You know, I mean, I guess it depends on how you do the next game, and then you determine it from that standpoint, because every group uh, adjusts to that differently. Last question, your go-to place for king cake. French Market, unbelievable king cake, unbelievable king cake. Uh, you know, uh, Troy Henderson does a great job out there, and I mean, remarkable king cake. Uh, uh, and I can eat a lot of it. Favorite flavor? You know, I, I talked to Troy about this, and Troy says that his, you have to order it, blueberry cream cheese is, is his favorite. Both? Blueberry cream cheese inside. Now, the cream cheese king cake that, that you and I ate was good. The pecan praline to me sounds pretty good, but I have not tried that. I've only eaten one piece because if I eat more than one piece of anything, it becomes an obsession with me, and then I just eat, 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 eat. So I only eat one piece, but I can almost visualize that piece when I sit down to start to eat it. Now we're talking about all these sweet things. Boudin king cake? I would have to pass on that. I agree. Good luck, coach.